After 40 years in coaching, 29 as a head coach, and 17 of those years in Logan, Stu Morrill said this week that this season will be his last at Utah State. He made the stunning announcement on Friday in an emotional speech that gave us plenty of laughs and brought back a lot of memories. This is my decision. I had a few years left on a contract. I went to Scott about a month ago, as he said, and uh, it, it just, uh, it, it just, it's just time. I think it's really important that that I hung it up before Stu turned into boo. Um, there were no boos Friday, just applause for the winningest coach in Utah State history. After guiding the program to 14 straight seasons of 20 or more wins, 13 consecutive postseason appearances, seven conference championships, and eight trips to the NCAA tournament, he felt now was the right time to make this decision. It's doing it at this time allows the university to move forward, and that's important to me. That's important to me. It allows some time for my assistant coaches. Uh, you know, I, 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 that's tough. That's as tough as it gets. You know, they've been, they've been unbelievable. Stu will leave behind a lasting legacy at Utah State that may never be matched. Fights are fakes. Now he shoots the three. He made it. Great memories from so many wins. He shared his favorite. I always remember Tony Brown with the City League fake against Iowa, Ohio State. City League, Church League, whatever you want to call it. The guy jumps. Finally, Tony Brown fakes him about eight times. <laughs> lofts it over. We go into overtime, and we beat Ohio State. I'll always remember that. He also shared some of his coaching secrets. Mysteries revealed. There are people that have told me I should find something different than that. Uh, one of them being my wife. Years ago, I couldn't think of anything else. It's called Monster. So it's like I'm a big monster. All right. And it has to do with how we guard the post. That's all it is. And, and this one is a, something we do in our zone. He hopes to finish the season strong for his current players who want to do the same for him. Just play our hardest and uh, know that he's going out. Try to have him going out with a bang, you know. Just do everything that we can in our power to help him enjoy his retirement at the end of the season. So. This is a good group. This group I'm finishing with, they're trying hard. You know, they're trying hard. We're, uh, we're young, we're inexperienced, and it's just, as I told them, I'm just so pleased to be finishing with this group of kids. When the season ends, Stu just plans to relax and enjoy time with his wife, Vicki, and their children and grandchildren. You know, I, I tease Vicki all the time that uh, the definition for her of retirement is, <laughs> and she's about to find out, <laughs> not enough money and too much husband. <laughs> that's, that's what she's in for. He will walk away at the end of the season proud of what he was able to accomplish. Who gets to stay 17 years anymore in one place? I mean, what, what a wonderful thing for me and for my family to get to stay at Utah State for 17 years. And I want to thank the players who have played me for me that, that like playing for me and also the ones who didn't. I mean, it's all part of it. It's all part of the journey. To the fans, it's been a, it's been a fun ride. Special thanks to the fans, the ones who liked me and the ones who didn't. <laughs> we ran a basketball program. We're still running a basketball program the right way, in my mind. And I've got peace with that.